Hey guys, this is Jerry, welcome to the channel. Today I will show you everything you need to know how to operate the assist systems that's available on the GWM Tank 300 Plus 500. This is the Tank 500 version in New Zealand, but it should be identical from the Australian version to the New Zealand and between the 300 to 500. The logic everything is going to be identical. As always, you can find all the timestamps down below if you to skip forward, if you wish to. And if you find this video helpful, do not forget to subscribe and like, that would be really, really helpful for the channel to grow. Alright, in the first part of this, I'll talk about the cruise control first. I have done a full complete video on how to drive the vehicle under cruise control, smart cruise control, adaptive cruise control, whatever you want to call it. So check the link down below. In this video, I'll show you how, in theory, how this works. Basically, this is our cruise control lever. Once you start driving to a certain kilometers, if you wish to set the cruise control, just pull the lever towards you. That means Mobile cruise. Adaptive cruise control. Just like that, it gives us a notification because we're not driving right now, it's stationary. And once you start driving on cruise control, you can go up and down to adjust your cruise control. That means the vehicle will drive on your set speed if the road is clear. And if the road is not clear, there's a vehicle in front of you, you will be able to use this distance, go forward and backwards. When you go forward, distance plus, you go backwards, distance minus. And if you wish to cancel the cruise control, just a light touch forward, that allows you to cancel, or you can simply press the brake at any time, the cruise control will be paused or cancelled. Once you have cancelled the cruise control or paused the cruise control with either the brake or with this control lever, you can push it backwards and hold to resume the cruise control. Just push and hold, that means you can resume the back cruise control. Adaptive cruise control. But if you do want to reset, you can just pull it back to reset whenever. Whenever you reset the cruise control, if your driving speed is less than 30, your, your vehicle automatically set your cruise control is 30. But if your speed was driving more than 30, it will set at whatever the cruise you were driving. When the cruise control follow the vehicle uh, comes to a complete stop, your vehicle will automatically resume the cruise control if the vehicle in front of you stays stationary for less than 30 seconds. If the vehicle stays stationary more than 30 seconds, yourself will need to resume. The resume is really easy. Either you press the accelerator pedal, just let the vehicle roll in a motion, or push and hold this lever again, that will reset to, to cruise, cruise control. And that's how to use the cruise control. And next the feature is all under the vehicle setting. In the screen, click the vehicle or go into the menu, click car. So under the car setting, you'll find the smart drive. This is your most of your driving assistance. The first one is called forward assist. This is your friend clearing warning, things like that. First one, auto emergency braking, that's brake. So that means when you actually getting yourself in danger, you're likely to crash into the front vehicle. It'll give you warning and emergency braking if necessary. So brake is on. Even if you turn off this time, next time we'll still reset the brake. That's due to the new sort of safety regulations. Forward clearing warning sensitivity, you can do low, medium or high, it's up to you. Cross traffic alert, so that helps with when you're driving forward, when you there is someone actually crossing in front of you, let's say you are waiting in the giveaway section or the roundabout and your speed is still too high, the vehicle will actually give you an alert, lets you say press brake, press brake, so then that means um, you, you know what's coming through. And you can also do front cross traffic braking, it just means just like if you're likely to crash into something when the vehicle is crossing in front of you, it will give you emergency braking if necessary. And next one, intelligent turning. So this is only useful on motorway when you stand using the standard cruise control. So while you're on cruise control, in case you want this function to be on, you just turn, turn it on. And then that means if the road is clear, you just need to turn the indicator to the right. The vehicle will slowly maneuver you into the right lane. I've tried it on some occasions. It works most of the cases, but I wouldn't just leave my hand off the steering, so to speak. You want to turn or on or off, whichever you like. Next one is your rear side assist. So that's your blind spot detection, all those things. First thing is called land change assist. It just means when you're driving forward, the vehicle on your left, on your right is approaching you. You can see the indicator on the wing mirror. And then if you do blink, you, let's say on the right wing mirror, there's a uh, vehicle coming through, the blinker is, the indicator is on, I'm going to turn the blinker, it's going to give you a warning and assistance. 
door opening warning, just when you are at low speed, when you come to a stop, you are likely to open the door. You've already put the door handle, the vehicle actually give you warning, so let you know that someone is approaching you. Rear clear warning, it's very handy in case you are in a stationary or even a slow speed traveling. The vehicle at the back is likely to crash into you. The vehicle will issue a warning. There's not much they can do, but at least it's the warning will let you know something is about to happen. Rear cross traffic alert, it just means when you're reversing on the car park, there's something traveling behind you and the vehicle will actually give you indication, uh, give you warning if uh, you're likely to go reverse too fast or whatever. So that means you want to stop and look again. Next one is the rear cross traffic braking, just likely just means while you're doing the alert, if you are still too fast, you're approaching to the upcoming vehicle, the vehicle may issue a full emergency braking if necessary. Next one is the lane assist, so you can switch this on and off. It just means while you are driving on motorway, when you're traveling over 60 k's per hour on motorway, the vehicle will give you different balancing on the steering, if necessary, if you go out of lane marking, things like that. You can do lane keep assistance, it just means Pretty much the vehicle will try to permanently like give you steering assist to try to keep you in the center line marking. Or you can do warning assist, just means just before you go um, over the line marking or if you're already over the line marking, the vehicle will give you warning sound on your steering. Emergency line keep assistance, so that means just before you go over the line marking, the vehicle will give you a small turn on the steering. Again, if you do not like it, disable that. You will have to confirm that with the vehicle. Smart Dodge, I may not like it, depends on how you like it. So that just means whenever you are on motorway under cruise control, the vehicle may give you a smart sort of uh, assistance to keep you a little bit wider sort of when you approach or when you're overtaking a big truck or things like that. Some people may not like it. For any situation, you can just click the eye icon to tell you what's it. Warning mode, you can do vi vibro audio or both. So it just means you can do vibration on the steering, you can do audible, that means it give you ping sound, you can do both. Depends on how you like it. One warning sensitivity, again, you can do low, normal, high, again, up to you. Next one is traffic sign recognition. So you can switch on and off the recognition, but this resets every single time if you switch it off. When you switch this on, it just reads out traffic sign when it's probably displayed in the area and the display on your dashboard and also on your heads up display if that's equipped. You can also do cruise control speed limit. That just means when you set the vehicle on cruise control, the cruise control will drive on cruise control speed. But if the traffic signs changes, let's say from 80 to 60, your cruise control automatically will sh uh, shift back to 60. Depends on how you like it. If you like it, engage this. Otherwise, just manually change the speed on your cruise control. You can also have an over speed warning. It just means when the vehicle sees the traffic sign, let's say 80, and you're driving over 80 at 81 to 85 to whatever, the vehicle will give you a warning and depends on your driving speed so that you know you are over your uh, speed limiter. If you don't like it, you can disengage. You can also change the over speed warning sensitivity to allowance, to minus or plus. I personally like the plus, so sometimes you will need to overtake someone, so you don't want to get it warning all the time, but someone maybe let it less or let it zero, it's really up to you, whatever you prefer, you can select. And apart from these, all these systems, there's also another thing under the in vehicle. Under the in vehicle setting, we'll find the cabin monitoring, so it's using the monitoring on your A pillar at the driver's side, around here to detect your motion, detect your uh, facial, things like that. So you can disengage and engage on the first line that just dis disable and able, enable the functions. Every single time it will reset to switch on whenever you start the vehicle. Second one, you can enable distraction warning. So it just means if you're distracting from other, uh, other, other things, if your eyes are not on the road, it'll give you a notification. Uh, fatigue monitoring, if you are falling asleep, you have a yawn, whatever, it'll give you a warning, says you might want to take a rest. And next one, the safety intervention, you can engage this to be on and off. If it's on, it just means if you're losing consciousness or whatever, the vehicle will engage some safety, tech, safety features. And next one, the safety assistance, if you are not respons responsive to the recognition or whatever, the vehicle will give you the active safety feature to either slow it down or to drive uh, itself sort of thing, not really drive itself. So just the small things about this. Uh, personally, not favorite system, I, I, I think. It gives a lot of verbal warnings, things like that. 
but I guess in the future they will slowly improve this over the time. And next is called Vital Science Monitoring System. It just means it's an interior monitoring system about motion detection. If you have leave some um, pets or baby inside the vehicle accidentally, it's going to issue a warning on the vehicle system. Also, if your vehicle is braking or whatever, it will give you issue or some warning if necessary. Next is the delayed alarm. It just means whenever you lock the vehicle, the motion detection doesn't straight, start straight away if you enable that. So there will be a small delay. Uh, that means you could keep someone in the car for some short minutes if you want to lock the vehicle. All right, that's the end of this video. Hope you enjoy the contents. If you do, don't forget to subscribe and like. That would be really, really helpful for the channel. As always, I will see you next video.